The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hello friends, I'm teacher Jennifer and I am so happy to see you today. Today is Sunday and I love to go to church with my family and friends on Sunday. Would you like to join me? Oh, great. So we've been talking about all the wonderful things that God has created. Do you remember what some of those things are? That's right, he did create that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yes, and last week we talked about how God made sea creatures and fish and whales and shark, sharks and green sea turtles and jellyfish. So many things. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what else God created. Do you have any ideas? Oh, I bet you're right about that. Hey, that's a great idea. Let's get out our Bible clue box. Are you ready? Hey, you, what should we do? Let's take a look at our Bible clue. Hey, you, what should we do? Let's take a look at our Bible clue. What do you think is in the Bible clue box today? Oh, I hope it is that. That's a great idea. Okay, you ready? I'm so excited. I always love the Bible clue box. Let's see. Oh, what is this? It's a feather. What has feathers? Hmm, what has feathers? That's a good clue. There's something else in here. Let's see what it is. It's an, oh, it's a little egg. And it's starting to crack. Do you see it? Oh, oh, it's cracking. Oh my goodness, look what came out of the egg. Ah, a little birdie came out of the egg. How cute. Oh, and this bird has a scripture. Let's read what the birdie sis says. You stay right there. Okay, what does it say? The scripture is, oh, look, it's on an egg. Genesis 1, 20, 21. And where can we go to find our answers? That's right, the Bible. Can you sing the song with me? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Okay, Genesis 1, 2021. God says, what does God say about this? Oh, let birds fly above the earth, across the vault of the sky. And every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. So God created birds. Like this little guy. Oh, you know what? There's something else in the box. Let's see. It's another little birdie. Oh, it's another little birdie. Actually, there's two of them. Oh, they're so cute. What's that? Oh, their names are Jack and Jill. Hey friends, can you get two of your fingers out and this can be your Jack and this can be your Jill, okay? And I'm gonna get Jack and Jill out, ready? Two little birdies sitting on a hill, one named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. They want to change their names to soft and loud. And they want to sit on a cloud. Will you join me? Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One name soft, the other name loud. Fly away soft. Fly away loud. Come back soft. Come back loud. What's that? Oh, we can do that. They want to change their names one more time to early and late. And they want to sit on a gate. Can you sing with me? Two little blackbirds sitting on a gate. One name early, one name late. Fly away early, fly away late. 
Fly away, late. Fly away, late. <laughs> come back, early. Come back, late. Late, come back. Can you help me with late? Come back, late. Oh, there he is. And they give each other a kiss. And they fly away. Can you make your little blackbirds fly away? So God created birds and he made all types of birds, all types and live in different habitats. They live throughout the world. Most of the birds fly, but birds help us. Did you know that? They help the earth and they help people. Most of the birds eat little insects that are not good for, for us to have too many of, or they eat rodents that can hurt our environment. So birds do that. They also are pollinators. Remember when we learned about bumblebees and ladybugs and butterflies? Well, we have birds that pollinate too, like hummingbirds. And they're also excellent seed spreaders. Birds can set spread seeds everywhere and our new flowers and trees grow from those seeds. So birds are so helpful and there's so many of them. I have a few more in here you wanna see? I have a little baby duck. There you go. What else do I have? Oh, I have a little red robin. Look at that sweet little red robin who loves to sing. Did you know that red robins lay blue eggs? Yes, they lay blue eggs. What else here? Oh, I have a chicken and I have oh a rooster. Birds are also helpful because we can get food from birds. Like they lay eggs like a chicken. If you have some eggs in your refrigerator, they came from chickens. Oh, and one more. I have a little, an owl. Ooh, ooh. Owls are nocturnal. That means they are awake in the nighttime. They sleep during the day and they like to eat little rodents that aren't really great for us, for our environment. So those are owls. So God made all kinds of birds. And I have a song about some birds. Would you like to sing with me? Here we go. Look at them. There's five different birds here. Can you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five little birdies sitting in a row. The first one said, I've got to go. The second one said, I need to make a nest. The third one said, yummy worms are the best. The fourth one said, I'm ready to fly. The fifth one said, way up in the sky. Tweet, tweet, called Mama Bird, where are you? Five little birdies and away they oh, flew. They flew away. Oh my goodness. So friends, so wonderful learning all about birds and how God created all kinds of birds. Would you like to make an art project with me? Okay, let's go. Hi friends. I had so much fun learning about some of the different types of birds that God has created. So I thought for art time, we can make some birds. Would you join me please? Okay, so here we go. We are going to start off with making little bird nests because birds make their homes called nests and they'll use straw and grass and branches and twigs. Sometimes they can find hair, but we're gonna use a paper bag. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your safety scissors and you're gonna cut off the top about this much of the bag. And set that aside and open up your bag. And now you're just gonna roll from the top down. You're gonna kind of roll down the paper bag, little by little, kind of spread it open as you do that. It's really fun just to do this. Just to pretend you're a mama bird getting your little nest ready for your baby birds. So there's your little nest. Now you're going to want to put some baby birds in there. And if you have a cotton ball, you can use that. I have a little blue pom pom. And I'm going to give my baby bird 
two little eyes and I'm using a marker and I'm just gonna kind of press down hard like that. Like that and I'm going to make a beak. So I took a piece of paper and I folded it and on the closed edge, I'm going to make a little triangle, cut out a little triangle for my beak. Oops. And sometimes I find it easier if you pour, let's see, if you pour some of your glue on a plate, sometimes it's easy just to dip, dip what you want glued into the glue like that. And there's your baby bird. And I actually made two other baby birds. So let's put them in the nest. And their mouths are open nice and wide for mama bird to feed them. Because the mama bird has to feed them. Do you know the mama bird has to eat the food first and then put it in her baby's mouth. That's how mama birds feed their baby birds. Now, if you want to use googly eyes too, if you don't want to use a marker, I used two little googly eyes from the mama bird and I just glued them on and I'll give her a beak. What the mama bird does is called, when she feeds them, regurgitate. That's what that's called. There's the mama bird, safe and sound in their babies, in the babies in their nest. Now, if you want to make another bird, you can use a paper roll. And what I did, I put some glue and water in this cup, because sometimes I like to just spread my glue like this. It's really easy. It goes on really easy. Here we go. And I'm just going to cover my roll with feathers. You can use the same color feather. You can use different colors. If you don't have feathers, you can use construction paper or tissue paper. Remember what I love to always say, I do art my way, but you can do art your way because you are so creative. There we go. There's my little bird. And we have to give this guy a beak too, right? Let's see. Let's put him right here. And we'll give him a beak and some eyes. What kind of bird would this be? What would you name this bird if you if you were to name a bird? What would you name this bird? Maybe a rainbow bird? I don't know. Here we go. And see, it's so nice to just dip sometimes these little eyes in the glue. There's my little bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. What I love to do at my house is I love to feed the birds. I have a hummingbird feeder and hummingbirds love that sugar water. There's also, you can feed other birds with um, Cheerios. See, it's a little bird feeder you can hang in a tree. So all you need is a pipe cleaner and I took this pipe cleaner and I'm gonna make a knot at the very end so my Cheerios do not fall off when I string them on. And I already started and you just take a Cheerio and string them on your pipe cleaner. You can even snack while you're making your bird feeder. One for you, one for the bird. One for you, one for the bird. See? Make sure they're kind of pointy on the end, so be careful with these pipe cleaners. Now, some birds would love that delicious treat. The last project I had is we need a piece of paper and a crayon, and I'm going to make a nest. And this is so fun. You start in the center and hold on tight to your paper and you just go around and around and around. Oop, my crayon's noisy. Around and get really big. Do you know what I'm making? Can you guess what I'm making? 
That's right, I'm making a bird's nest. <laughs> I made a bird's nest and now I'm going to see, hmm, what does my bird nest need? That's right, it needs a bird. So I'm gonna take a blue piece of paper, but remember you can take any color you want and I'm gonna fold it over and I'm gonna start at the top here. I'm just gonna make a semicircle. And this is gonna be my little mama bird. This is my mama bird. And I'm going to give her, let's see, I'm gonna give her a beak. Remember how we did this? We made a little triangle. And I'm gonna give her a beak and I'm gonna stick it in my glue here and put it actually in the back of the bird. And let me slide it down a little bit. And oops, she doesn't wanna stay on. There we go. And I'm gonna give her an eye my marker. May I give her some eyelashes. And I'm gonna give my bird, let's see, oh, some feathers. Some yellow tail feathers for my little birdie. And you can use different colors if you want. And maybe I'll use my glue stick for this one. And I'm gonna open up my bird and stick her feathers in there. Now my bird is going to have little eggs in her nest. And you can I have two eggs here and what I did is I just used a white piece of paper and I drew, I drew an oval and with my safety scissors I'm just going to cut this egg out and you can put the egg in the nest or I'm going to show you how you can put it on the baby, the mama bird. So you can either put, open up your mama bird, you can op put the eggs in the mama bird like that or you can glue the mama bird shut and you can put little eggs in here that she's going to keep warm and take care of and if you want to you can add some branches or some leaves I'm gonna take some green construction paper and make a nice leaf. I'll fold it over so I can cut two at once or you can take your green crayon and make a leaf around your nest. You can do whatever you'd like with that. She's gonna have a nice cozy nest for her little baby birds. Oh, I almost forgot, I had to give her some wings. So I just took this, I cut out some paper and I put, I glued half of it, of it on and I folded the other half. So here is our little mama bird in her nest of baby birds, tweet, 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 tweet. So many different species of birds so many great ideas out there what to make for art, right? I found so many ideas, it was hard to make up my mind. Well, I enjoyed my time with you, friends. I hope you had a wonderful time today. Remember, God created this beautiful world. He made the birds, he made you, he made me, he loves you, and so do I. I'll see you soon, friends. Bye.